As far as ticks are concerned, we here, where our practice is in the northeast of the United States, is probably the highest concentration of ticks and especially Lyme disease in the United States. So that's it's something that we deal with almost every single day. When it comes to ticks and you have a very bad problem, it's usually wise to go to the conventional uh, tick applications. I would rather have a little chemical on a dog than have the dog riddled with ticks, bring the ticks in, especially if you have children, and especially get chronic Lyme disease. Fleas and ticks will be more attracted to an animal of ill health than an animal that's healthy. So if you do need to use one of these spot-ons and you're raising your animal very healthy, if the spot-on recommendations say one full packet every 30 days for ticks, you could probably go to every 45, 50 days. I personally, since I live in the woods, have seven animals and three young daughters, I'll use one of these spot-ons once or twice a summer and I'll use one spot on for all three of my dogs. There are tick removable kits that are available right now and they come with a little magnifying glass. So what you do is you go down and the head of the tick will look like either one or two little black spots that are in there. Don't pull the tick with the tweezer because you'll break it off and leave the head in there. Go underneath the tick and get where the little tick attachments are, the little tonsors, uh, at the skin and pull it out from there and don't be afraid to take a little amount of skin and even have it bleed a little. And if it does do that, then just take a little piece of cotton with hydrogen peroxide and dab it on once or twice.